In this video, we are going to be looking at area and surface area. And this is a maths lit video. Okay, we start off by looking closer into area. And we find this by working in the two dimensional plane. So you have your basic shapes, your circle, square, rectangle, triangle, etc. Right? These are your basic 2D shapes. And they are easy to work with. We have formulas for all of them, pi r squared, length squared, length times width, and for the triangle, half base times perpendicular height. Okay, those are the formulas for area. But now we move on to surface area. And this is common that they can ask you, find the surface area of something. Here you now work in the three-dimensional plane. So instead of a circle, we will now have a full-on cylinder. Okay, instead of a square, you now have a cube, and you could even have a pyramid, etc. So in test, when they ask you, um, find, they will say, okay, find the surface area of something. What I would suggest is take whatever shape or object they gave you and break it up into basic shapes. The shapes that you know and love, okay, your square. So if I break this guy up specifically, um, it's net, it will have six squares. And that's easier to work with. Okay. Let's look at some type, typical example, what you could see in finding tests. So this is a dog kennel. And I've seen them ask dog kennels in tests, but also um, just a normal house, right? That's also been asked before. A house, and they would say, find the surface area. Now, what I'm going to give you to do that is a little to-do list. And this to-do list can be done in any order, right? There's no steps. There's just little blocks that I'm going to have to tick. And I'm going to do them all. Okay. Start off by break, breaking up your object into basic shapes. So let's look at this dark kennel. If I consider the basic shapes, well, here is a rectangle so I have that plus I also have the roof here the section is also a rectangle or maybe a square and if we look at the front I could break this up into a square okay and then the part just above it that could be a triangle right these are now my known shapes so break it up into stuff that you know. What I will say is you must not forget this side. You know, here on the side, the left side, there's also a um, similar identical blue wall. And we mustn't forget there at the back. We can't see it, but there are invisible sides. And I will say here, remember your invisible sides. Even though you can't see them, they're still there. Okay. So next... Maybe you have something like, in the question they say, this whole dog house is one meters tall or high. And then they further go on to say, just the roof area is 0 0.5 meters, just this area. So how long, or how high actually, is this blue pot, just this wall? And I could easily find that by subtracting the one minus 0 0.5, and then I find out, well, this piece is also 0 0.5, this part. So remember also, start off by finding your missing values. Add that to your to-do list. And, as you can see, there is also a little part here, a gap or an opening. It's this door area. I cannot add that, right? I cannot add that. I need to subtract that door because it doesn't form part of the surface area. That's just a hole or a gap. So subtract any holes or gaps. So in this case, it could be a window or it could be a door. Typically, these won't be factored in because they won't need painting or tiling or bricks. All right. And finally, ensure you have um, units that are the same, right? So I'm looking for everything here must be in meters. And if it's in centimeters, then I need to convert. 
that is a big tip that will help you further on. Okay, let's try something and then we'll come back to our to-do list. Let's try a question. Mfasa wants to paint the house and its roof. I'm underlining that because it's important. Determine the size of the area that requires painting. Now I know you might think, oh, they want area. But since this is a 3D object, they are looking for surface area. They also give you that the window is 40 by 40 centimeter. And they only say or show you there's one window. So you can assume there's only one and the door is 40 by 65. So the length here is 65 because they already give you the width. Okay, so let's start off, let's go. We have here the side, let's get the side going, see if we break it up into shapes. This green side here is a rectangle, okay. And I must remember that there is another one on the left side, even though I can't see it. So there are two identical rectangles, fine. And if we talk about this front part here, it can break up into a square. And it can, um, it's at the back as well, right? So there are two of them. So I'm going to say here two, well, rectangles or squares. We'll see. Then at the top, this then becomes a triangle. And there are two of them because I remember at the back as well. Okay. And I can see that the roof itself forms two rectangles. As you can see, there's rectangle one and rectangle two. So I'm going to have two rectangles that I add. Okay, let's go see what we've done so far. We have broken it up into basic shapes. I have remembered the invisible sides. What I have not done is subtracted any holes or gaps. So let me go back. The hole, there is one door that I need to subtract and it's in the form of a rectangle and one window. And, well, yes, they only specify one window. Okay, so now I've subtracted any holes. Let's find missing values and see if we have everything. Well, here at the bottom of the house, if I want the full length, I'm going to have to say 25 plus 40 plus 25, and that will give me 90 centimeters. So I need to remember that, as well as if the whole house is 1.3 meters high and just this area is one meter what does that tell me about the roof section here that tells me it's 0 0.3 meters high okay the 0 0.3 is also then i can just put it here by the roof by this blue area as well so this section is also 0 0.3 because it's the same at the front and at the back meters what bothers me though is the fact that some units here are in meters and others in centimeters. So depending on my question, let me go and change everything to centimeters. I times by 100, so this is 130, this is 100 centimeter, and this is 120 centimeters. This top part is 30 centimeters. You just say times by 100. I should be fine. Now let's go and see if I have my to-do list. Did I find the missing values? Yes. And I converted everything to the same units. Okay, let me move this up a little and then we start. So the two green rectangles, okay, here's the one rectangle and the one on the side. If you look at the length, it's 120. And if you look at the width, it's given as 100. Why? Look here, 120 for the length. And the width of this rectangle would be 100 centimeter. Okay. The square parts at the front, well, or is it a square or is it a rectangle? Let's see. The bottom part is 90, but now what will this height be here? Or this, the side, it's the same as this green one, 100. It's, also, it's 100. So I'm going to write here 100, right? And then this is also a rectangle. Okay, let's look at the triangle. The base is the same as the bottom, so the base is also 90 centimeters. And the height, well, we worked it out in the previous slide, that said 0 0.3 meters or 30 centimeters. So let me say the height here, 30 centimeters. And if we talk about the roof, well, the height here, 71 centimeters, it's the same front and back. So here I have 71. And at the bottom, it's the same as the floor or ground length, so it's 120 centimeters. Okay, 
Then I have the door. If you remember the door's height they gave us in the question, it's 65 by 40. And the window, window they gave us as well. They said it's 40 by 40 centimeters. Now I'm ready, as long as I remember my formulas. Okay. So let's start with the green one. The rectangle is length times width, so that's why I'm saying 100 times 120. And I go to the yellow part. There are two other smaller rectangles, uh, 100 times 90. It's also length times width. Then I put in the blue, the blue part. That's there are two of them, and the formula is half times the base times the height, and the base of the triangle is 90. The height is 30 centimeters. Okay, the roof, that's just the shape of a rectangle. There are two of them. So it's 120 times 71 centimeters. And we go to the door. The door is 65 times 40 because it's length times width. And the window is just 40 times 40 or 40 squared because that is the formula length squared of a square. Okay, this is a square and the formula is length squared, 40 times 40. Put all of this in your calculator. Okay, you will get a big final answer and it will be 57,540 centimeters squared. If your question had asked you now, convert it to meter squared. Okay, remember to, to go from centimeter to meters is easy. You just divide by 100. And since everything is squared, you're going to say divide by 100 squared. Just put that in into your calculator like that and you would actually get an answer of 5.754 meters squared or rounded off. Um, 5.75 if you round it off. Right, that is the end of our video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.